Let's talk about inheritance in Java. When you think of inheritance, a lot of people think of parents passing away and then their assets are collected and given to their children. Kind of like what was shown in the example on the screen. Now, this analogy is useful to a point in talking about inheritance in Java. Inheritance is something you get from your parents or your parent class in Java. But beyond that, it's not a very useful analogy. Let's use a little bit more useful analogy to see what inheritance is. Let's say that I gave you a task to take a piece of paper and make it fly across the screen or look like it's flying across the screen. So you labored intensely and had a piece of paper fly into a wastebasket. Let's say the next day I asked you to create a program that makes an airplane fly across the screen. And hopefully you'll notice the similarities between the piece of trash or the piece of paper and the airplane. The airplane is going to fly across the screen. So if I gave those tasks to you in sequential order, I bet that you would not write them as independent programs, but rather you would take code from the piece of paper that made it move across the screen and utilize that with the airplane. Well, this is the idea of inheritance. It's taking code that already exists and using it in another class. In order to make the airplane fly across the screen, I use the code of the piece of paper. So let's explore this further. Let's say that I had two classes, the airplane class and the paper class. And then I created another class called flying object. And in the flying object class, its only purpose is to make an object start at the beginning of the screen and move over to the other side well, who would want to use that class? Well, we know that the airplane and the paper class would both want to use the features of that class. So this is where inheritance comes in. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to say that an airplane is a flying object and a paper is a flying object. And we want to give access to the features of the flying object class in both the airplane class and the paper class. And we call this inheritance. And so the flying object class is the existing class, and that existing class has a name. It's called a super class. And then the classes that want to use the flying object class also have a name, and those are called subclasses. So the super class is the existing class, and the subclasses are the new classes that are going to use the features of the super class or the already existing class. Now let's look at a few more examples. Let's say that you had a ball class and the ball moved in whatever way you programmed it to do. And then you could say, hey, I like that movement, but I'm gonna change it into a baseball or a football. So we're going to call this a baseball is a ball or a football is a ball. Another example is a pizza. Let's say you had a basic pizza that was just dough and cheese, and then you wanted to transform it into a pepperoni pizza, where we would say a pepperoni pizza is a pizza, or we could have a meat lover's pizza is a pizza. We could look at trees. Let's say that you had just a generic tree, and then you wanted to make it specifically an orange tree. So an orange tree is a tree, and an apple tree is also a tree or you just had a super class called teacher. And then we wanted to create specific types of teachers that could all use the behavior of the teacher class. And so we can say, Ms. Smith is a teacher and Mr. Brown is a teacher. All of the classes in green at the bottom there are subclasses and all of the blue classes at the top are super classes. What is the idea of inheritance? It is using the features of an existing class. So you say, I like what the flying object does, and I'm going to use it later in multiple different classes. And so it's going to inherit the features from an existing class. When you have inheritance, more than one class will be involved. So you saw in all of our examples, we had multiple classes going on. The super class is the existing class from which features are used. And then the subclass is the new class that uses the features of an existing class. So say, hey, I like what you did there. I don't want to have to reinvent it. I'm going to use those features already established in the super class. And finally, the relationship created between the super and subclass is an is a relationship, meaning whatever the subclass is, it is because it uses the super class's features. 
Inheritance is one of the fundamentals of Java, and it allows users to not have to constantly reinvent the code that they've already created, but rather say, hey, I like that behavior, or I like that item inside of that class, and I'm going to use it. Understanding inheritance will serve you mightily in not having to recreate code and also understanding how classes interact with one another. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please do click like below. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks again for watching.